Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, just pulled the hanging tag off of this pretty cool car. Uh, you know, these were, these were uh, not only uh, cool looking, but they were actually a purpose-built design. You know, they had to build enough of these to go uh, Trans Am racing. That's a 70 AAR Cuda, uh, which a lot of you know, and some of you may or may not know. But uh, these had the 346 pack. And the 340 block in these was a different block than the regular 340 Cudas. And uh, as we go and walk around the car, you'll see some uh, pretty cool features about it. And these things, uh, you can see some, uh, like on YouTube and things like that, you can see some uh, vintage videos of, uh, you know, like uh, Mark Donahue driving an AMX, racing, uh, you know, Dan Gurney and things like that. And some of the other cars are out there. And it's pretty cool to watch these cool cars. Uh, roll around these uh, road courses and not just an oval and be, uh, and be really cool, powerful, loud and, and great looking. So uh, some of the features on this car, the strobe stripe is standard on it. Front and rear spoilers, you know, they had to build a certain amount of these cars to actually go racing with them. They come with the big 15 inch wheels and the bigger fender inside, very much like the big Cudas came with uh, the other cars where you could get a 15 inch wheel and tire in there because, uh, you know, they were going to put big flicks or or uh, 10 inch wide wheels around and make it uh, so they could handle a whole lot better. Let's take a peek under the hood for a minute. This is a factory uh, hood and this is the way it came. It came painted black on the top like this. This is a fiberglass hood and it came that way from the factory. And this is nice. As we walk through the car, we'll see things like the factory high performance manifolds on the car. Six barrel intake, six barrel air cleaner. It's sealed around here so the fresh air comes on in. It gets nothing but fresh air. Correct radiator. Radiator support, VIN number is here. Got the correct two tags on it. We have the documentation from uh, Govier authenticating. These are the incorrect screws that are on here, but we do have the correct screws for it. I just didn't put them on yet, but you can see it says Trans Am on the second tag. Original emission sticker. This is a documented 50,000 mile car. So a lot of the things that you see on here right now are actually the original pieces that came on the car, straight out of the factory circa 1970. The chrome and trim on the car looks really nice. I've driven the car myself and it really runs and drives awesome. Factory hood pins. Okay, let's take a peek inside and we'll show you some of the purpose-built stuff. You know, when you're buying a car like this, don't forget these were purpose-built race cars to be sold to the public, but uh, only because they had to sell a certain amount of them so they could actually go Trans Am racing. And the reason those people went Trans Am racing is they had this saying, uh, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. And if you're winning races and the public is seeing you win them, then you're gonna go out and buy that same car on, uh, on Monday. Anyway, this car, no console, uh, no radio, um, you know, no power steering. Um, so this customer here, uh, you know, who wanted to drive it, put some tunes mounted below so you didn't cut up the dash. We can also move this actually into the glove box, which would be a better spot for it. And then it'll be untouched. So everything's kind of plain inside. Although it's cool, it's kind of plain. And this right here, this fits, like, uh, I can't believe they don't make this shifter for every car out there. The pistol grip shifter with the four speed, matching transmission, matching motor, the carbs are all uh, day coded and correct. This is a really cool car. It's 52,513 original miles. And we have some great documentation with the car. I love to show you some of that also. Let's take a peek in the trunk for a minute. This is kind of cool. Uh, you know, this is one of the things that they eliminate very early when they're restoring a car if they don't restore the car properly. Okay, is a reverse lockout and you can't get the keys out of this car unless it's in reverse. Ducktail rear spoiler. And this is kind of cool, man. Go online and go look at AAR Cuda's racing, vintage pictures, vintage videos, and things like that. They look just like this. It's really cool, except for an upgraded set of wheels and tires. This was it. Nicely detailed here. Original jacking instructions. This is not a replica or a reproduction of that sticker, okay? Original inflated spare with the bottle still here. Not a reproduction original which is really cool and that right there alone is worth a lot of money we believe this trunk lid here not to be painted we believe this to be the original uh paint on the car and i'll show you why i say that back then there wasn't a lot of quality control the outside of the car is beautiful it's definitely been repainted and it's very very nice actually a little too nice it's nicer than uh than the factory did it but if you look right here here's a little drip a little drip and that's factory which is really cool 40 year old trunk lid, man. That's 40 year old paint in there. That's really nice. Anyways, we walk around. Awesome strobe stripe. The only cars that came with us were the AAR Cudas. No mistaking them. You know right away what it is. Side exit exhaust. Looks awesome. 
We drove this car for pictures yesterday and got a little spotted on it, but other than that, it's beautiful. Door edge guards to keep the paint from getting chipped up. Uh, we actually put a fresh set of tires on the car and they filled them with nitrogen now. They do it automatically and they put the little green cap on. I think we should probably change that to black, but at least you know they're brand new and everything's there. I'm gonna go ahead and start it for you and you can hear. You know, 340 makes a great sound. It makes an even better sound when you're rolling down the road and those six barrels open up. You know, in closing, we found you can never go wrong with a car where they've only built uh, one of around 1,120 of them. Uh, matching numbers, uh, two fender tags that are original, build sheet, original bill of sale, two fender tags, uh, documented all up, just, uh, just a cool car. One of only 1,120 built and rare. The correct colors, matching motor, matching trans, correct carburetors, all that stuff and documented uh, low miles. It's just an awesome, awesome car. Anyway, we're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Very proud to present this 70 AAR Cuda matching number car. Call us, 301-816-1000. Uh, we'll tell you all about it.